Marcus are outside with Olivia and Kane. And now I am working on a, uh, we got her all tangled up in a stick. There we go. So I've just got her on a long line now. And as you can see, she's just, Olivia, come. Good girl. She's just coming and following me around. And I have not taught her leash manners or anything. Oh, this has all just been, just spending time with her, building a little bit of a bond with her. And now she just wants to be around me. Yay. Come. Good girl. Yeah. So she's not pulling. And she's totally comfortable being around me. The more you do this, the better it is. Like I said, I haven't been teaching her heel. I haven't been teaching her anything. I just, we've just been walking around. If you do this, just make the dog like you. Make them, make them want to be around you. And they will just follow you around naturally. Dogs are natural followers. I do have the e-collar on her, but I'm just using the vibrate. So, uh, you going to get her untangled there, bud? Yep. All right. She always finds a way to tangle herself. So, with these little dogs, the, the stimulation on these e-collars, I find, just doesn't really work too well because the collars are too big for their neck. But the vibration does work pretty good on them. So if I want them to come, I'm just going to hit that, hold that vibration. Olivia, come. Good girl. As soon as she turns around to come to me, I just turn the vibration off. I just let the button go. So I'll back up. Come. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. You spend 10... 10 minutes a day doing this with your dog, they will have a great recall. And that's really what I want with her. I want her, I don't want her having this long line on. I just want her to follow me around like she's doing now and not be pulling away. She's doing good, isn't she, bud? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So cute. She is cute. Olivia, come. Good girl. See, I didn't even have to use the, don't worry about the leash, Colton. She's going to get tangled up. That's why I'm just letting her kind of pull slack so it doesn't get tight. There's Kane. He's just, like he lives here. Ow. Yep, watch that tail. <laughs> Olivia, come. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, that's my baby. That's my baby. <sighs> Olivia, come. Don't run up on her like that, bud. I'm not. That scares her. It's gonna kind of move easy and see, she's just glued to me now. Olivia. King, that's a boy. That's a boy. <laughs> so I just wanted to get this on video. And kind of just show you, even without teaching, you know, without teaching a dog leash manners necessarily, you can just put them on a leash and walk them around and just get them used to walking around with you just aimlessly in no certain direction. And uh, when they start going one way, you start walking the other way and they just get used. Like if I put any pressure on this leash at all, I doubt she's going to pull. Barely. And then she just comes, good girl. And I'm not even using the collar now. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. See that tail wagon? She's happy to be with me. She's not trying to avoid me. She's being a dog. This is what I want. I just want them to be dogs. Have a little freedom. Not worry about them every time they, they get 12 feet away from me. Olivia, come. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Kane, that's a boy. That's a boy. That's a happy dog there. All right, so just showing you what we're doing with Olivia now. We got her outside. It's nice out. Figured we'd get her, get her out here and get her used to just being around everybody and having some freedom. All right, we are out. Toodles. Toodles.